One of the best ways to get away from the tiring and boring environment of city life, even for a while, is to dive into the wildlife. At least that's what I think. Birds have always fascinated me since I was a child. It gives me great pleasure to watch them. I have been photographing them for about four years and I have been trying to make short documentaries about them. I have seen nearly 150 bird species so far, but I have only photographed 119 of them. Each bird species has its own unique habitat. For example, there are certain places where you can see a little egret. You cannot see this bird on a 2,000 meter mountain. You can see it mostly on the edges of wetlands. There are certain places in the world where this hooded crow can be seen. If we have seen a rare bird in an area, it's probably because it landed there to rest and feed during migration. If you have never seen this black-crowned night heron before, fret not. Maybe he can go down to rest in the area where you live during migration. You don't know what will happen. Life is full of surprises. You saw an Eurasian roller on the road and immediately stopped and started recording the video. This is not as easy as it seems. Because there may be situations such as the bird running away from you or trembling in the image due to not being able to fix the camera. As in this image, glare problems can also occur in cases where the light is not good. We can encounter such images in the early hours of the morning, when the sunlight has not yet illuminated our object. Now let me show you a few examples of this. As you can see, the images come out quite dark due to insufficient sunlight. Let's say you see a very rare species and you need to get an image of it, in which case it is unimportant whether the light is sufficient or not. However, if you want to get good images, you should wait for the sun to rise a little higher. Now the sunlight is starting to come where we want it. Have you noticed how the image has changed? We went into camouflage to view the birds up close and waited in silence. After a while, these beautiful creatures started to feed right in front of us.
The European turtle dove, Streptopelia turtur, is a member of the bird family Columbidae, the doves and pigeons. It breeds over a wide area of the southwestern Palearctic, including North Africa, but migrates to northern sub-Saharan Africa to winter. It is very sad to know that these birds are hunted by hunters. Unfortunately, their generation is endangered. Food scraps have been left by humans in our shooting area and the birds are busy eating them right now. The hooded crow, Corvus cornix, also called the scald crow or hoodie, is a Eurasian bird species in the genus Corvus. Widely distributed, it is found across northern, eastern, and southeastern Europe, as well as parts of the Middle East. It is an ashy gray bird with black head, throat, wings, tail, and thigh feathers, as well as a black bill, eyes, and feet. The hooded crow is omnivorous, with a diet similar to that of the carrion crow, and is a constant scavenger. On coastal cliffs, the eggs of gulls, cormorants, and other birds are stolen when their owners are absent, and hooded crows will enter the burrows of puffins to steal eggs. If I am not mistaken, it's a white wagtail. His tail seems too long to me. Little Egret, one of the regulars of this wetland. The common wood pigeons also feed on the waterfront. The distance between me and this bird is about 75 meters. If you are aware, there are tremors in the image. Although I try to keep the camera steady, these tremors are inevitable when the distance is long.
I waited a long time without changing my place, and finally I got the grand prize. Little Bitten came to a very close point. It came so quietly that I noticed it later while I was looking at the other birds. In the region that I observed, there were various types of seagulls and some grebe species besides heron species. I love herons. They are all beautiful birds. We end the day with common moorhen. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Goodbye.